Uh, hello everyone, I'm Steve from UK and English Tutoring and I'm going to assess one of my students' letters now. Um, so you have written down Miss Neeta Roberts, the home nurse in home nursing service, 79 Beachside Street, Bayview. So the address's contact details are good enough. I'm happy with that. And you have given a blank line after that, that's good. And then you have written on the date uh, in the respective format, so that's good as well. Um, and then dear Miss Roberts, so that's good. So until now, there is no issue. So you have done a good job. Let's go through this. <clears throat> Regarding Mrs. Jasmine Thompson. Okay, unfortunately, you didn't spell yes. I think it's Jasmine Thompson. It's not Jamin Thompson. So you have misspelled the name of the patient. So it's not good. So Mrs. Jamin Thompson is incorrect. If you have a look at your case notes, you should be able to find it out, isn't it? Right, so it's um, mis it misspelled, okay? So that's not good. All right, <clears throat> let's go through the introduction paragraph. I'm writing to refer Mr. Thompson, uh, who is recovering from a right total shoulder replacement surgery. Okay, so you should have put a full stop here. You could have started a new sentence. Otherwise, this is an incorrect sentence structure. Okay, surgery comma requires. So what you could have done is surgery comma requires. It's grammatically incorrect. Okay, so so you should have mentioned the surgery, put a full stop, and then you should start a new sentence. Okay, like this. She requires. She requ yes, she requires. You need to start with the new sentence. Okay. She requires. Otherwise, this sentence is incorrect. She requires continuous follow-up care and support from your facility okay. as she is being discharged today. Okay, so instead of writing uh, uh, comma is being discharged today, you can say as she is being discharged today. Okay, so you can say, okay. for example, <clears throat> okay. okay, from your facility, comma is being, okay, from your facility, comma is being okay instead of that what you could have written down is from your facility as she is being okay otherwise you can use because she is uh, being so that is also fine you can also use because she is being discharged today or after even you can say after she is being discharged okay. today so you can use any phrase, but that must be grammatically correct, okay? Apart okay. from that, it's okay. There's no there's no much uh, mistake, but it's only these two things, okay? Do not write down, you know, really longer sentence. You have written only one longer sentence in the introduction paragraph, that's not good. If your grammar is not that good, I would strongly recommend you to split, you know, the whole okay. introduction paragraph into two to three sentences, but they don't go more than, you know, three sentences. Um, the ideal situation is to write one sentence only, but it again depends on your grammatical accuracy. Okay, so if your grammar isn't that good, you can write down two sentences. Okay, all right, <clears throat> let's go to the next paragraph. Mrs. Thompson okay. has had a history of right shoulder osteoarthritis. Uh, for which the above mentioned surgery. So you should you should place a comma here, not here. Okay. So osteoarthritis for which? Okay. Osteo osteoarthritis for which? Okay. So you have written down. Sorry. Don't don't use the capital O because for all the diseases, all the conditions, you should not use capital letter unless it is the first letter of the sentence okay so you have to use the small this o small letter oh, okay this is that's small right. that's okay mm. all right. thank you so for which and then there should be a comma so you should place a comma after for which not before for which okay <clears throat> for which the above mentioned the surgery was done that's good um, but instead of done okay it is just a recommendation only all right, you could have mentioned was performed or was conducted, okay? okay? That's more formal, actually. Performed is more formal okay. than done, okay? So it is just a recommendation okay. only. Under vocabulary, okay. you know, it is much appropriate to use um, performed or conducted or, you know, okay. so on, or was, on, was yeah, performed would be much better. Post-operative X-ray uh, showed, you know, so you have to write down, you know, the X-ray. Okay, X-ray uh, needs a, an article. Okay, so you have to say uh, a post-operative. So that's how you should have started. So instead of saying post-operative, 
X-ray. What you should have done is you should have mentioned a post-operative. Sorry, post-operative X-ray. So you should have used an article before that. Okay, that's what you should have done. Showed that confirmed. Okay. Showed uh, that confirmed the position of total short shoulder replacement. Her pain was managed. Okay, with the analgesia. No, no, no. This is a okay. See, you should have put a put a full stop here, and you should have started a new sentence in the in the next one. So don't try to write down really longer sentences if you feel that your grammar is not up to the mark. Okay, you can slowly increase the length of the sentences, but in the beginning, I would recommend you okay. not to write down longer sentences. Okay, because you lost grammar here. So post-operative X-ray. So you should have mentioned a post-operative X-ray. Uh, confirmed the position of. You don't need to use showed that confirmed position. That's wrong. That's not needed actually. So showed that confirmed. Okay. Um, you know position. Sorry. Confirmed position. 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 Whatever it is. Okay. So what you should have done is that that confirmed the position of. Is that what you want to say? So the X-ray actually confirmed the position of no, no, total no. shoulder replacement. Is that right or not? Or did X-ray they... yes. confirmed the position of total. Yes, that also correct. <clears throat> so you do you want to say where the shoulder yeah, replacement? Yeah, X-ray post up. Yeah, post up. It the X-ray confirmed the position of the position of. Post up the uh, post operative X ray confirmed the position of total shoulder replacement. I think that that makes sense. Confirmed the position of total. Okay. Yes. And then hair pain. You have to start a new sentence. Okay. Unfortunately, replacement okay. of comma hair pain. Okay. So you should have done. Replacement after the replacement, you should have put on a full stop and then you should have started a new sentence starting with the hair pain. Okay, hair pain was managed with the analgesia, cold compression, and shoulder brace. Okay, which was applied for four hours every day. Okay, all right, that's good. Um, okay, let's one minute every day. Okay, if you write down two words, that's wrong, it's, it's going to be one word only every day. All right. Every day, everyone, everybody, okay. you know, always um, should be written on in one word only. Okay, they are they are one words actually, one word uh, phrases. Okay. All right. During hospitalization, um, assessed her vital signs. Why are you writing down assessed her vital signs? Who assessed it? Where is the subject? You have committed the same mistake in your previous letter as well. Where is the subject? Otherwise, you should have mentioned the vital signs were assessed. I think that's perfect, isn't it? Her vital signs were assessed. Yes. Am I right? So assessed her vital signs is wrong. Yes. Assessed her vital signs is wrong. You should have mentioned her vital signs were assessed. Okay. That's the way we need to write down. Okay, let's go to the next one. All right, where is that? Um, and intra, sorry, neurovascular status was within normal limits. Okay, that's good. Assisted her daily activities. Who assisted it? You can't write down a sentence with a verb. You should not do that. <clears throat> this is wrong. So you should have uh, mentioned like she received assistance with her daily living activities as well. Or assistance with her daily living activities was provided. Something like that, you know. Do you know what I mean? So you could have mentioned instead of writing, you know, the whole yeah. sentence is incorrect. Okay, the sentence starting with the whole sentence need to be... Um, written on like this. She also received um, assistance with her daily living activities. Yeah. That's how you should have written on. Yeah. Sorry, it's not uh, spelling yeah. Yeah, daily living okay. activities. So she also received assistance with her daily living activities. Okay. That's how you should have mentioned. Okay. Initiated physiotherapy. Who initiated the physiotherapy? You didn't write down the subject at all. Otherwise, you should have mentioned the physiotherapy was initiated as per the post-total replacement surgical protocol. That is good. Okay. 
and this sentence could have been um, you know connected with the, the with the previous one okay i mean okay initiated so what you could have done is okay. you could have written on like this she also uh, received assistance or um, give me one minute she also received assistance with her daily living activities and okay you could have written on this one and uh, physiotherapy was initiated mm -hmm. for the post shoulder replacement surgical okay as per the post total total okay whatever it is and physiotherapy was initiated was initiated as per post total okay you have to say post uh, whenever you write on post after that you need to place an hyphen okay post to total sh uh, shoulder replacement post to total shoulder uh, replacement surgical protocol okay that's good so write like this write like this so mer merge you know by merging okay. two sentences together see when you write down this sentence, okay, you should be able to have good control on the language and the sentence structures because it's not really long, okay? Because you are going to use and in between and okay. you are going to connect two simple sentences together, isn't it? So she also received assistance with the daily living activities yes. and physiotherapy was initiated as per post to total shoulder replacement surgical protocol. Perfect. So this one doesn't have, so you can have good control on this sentence, although it is longer, you can still control, you know, the grammar, vocabulary uh, and everything, okay, and connectivity as well. So it is okay to write down like this, but don't write down really longer sentences like the way you have done here. Starting from post-operative, you know, going through cold compression, which was applied every day. This is, this is long, this is so long, okay? All right, let's go to the next one. I hope you understand what I mean. Uh, let's go to the next page. Mrs. Thompson lives in a sing, uh, in yes, single sir. story house. That's wrong. In a single story house. Okay, in a, you have to use the article properly. I recommend you to watch my YouTube videos on the use of articles, okay, a, n, and the. Okay, lives in single story house. That's wrong. Okay, it's lives in a single story house. Okay, that's much better. Yep. Okay, let's go to the next one. <clears throat> Sorry, it's the, this one. Okay. <clears throat> uh, single story house with the with the, a large garden. With the garden with the, a large garden. Okay. With the large garden. Okay. You should have mentioned with a large garden. Okay. All right. What's the next one? So, Okay. okay. It would be greatly appreciated if you could provide um, appropriate care to Mrs. Thompson. That's good. Please encourage uh, her to wear a right arm sling and avoid weightlifting. Okay. Weightlifting for another uh, four weeks. Okay. Good. Um, okay. Weightlifting. Okay. All right. Unfortunately, weightlifting is one word only. But lifting weigh, uh, heavy items is different. Okay. Weightlifting. Okay. That's wrong. I think that's one word only. Weightlifting is one word only. That's right. Yes, one word only. Okay. All right. Let's go to the next one. Um, what's the next okay. one? Where is that? It's here. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. For another four weeks. Please note uh, that staples. Okay. Why did you write that staples? You know, you can say hair staples to be removed. That's wrong. Okay. That staples. That's wrong. Okay. Uh, let's say that staples to be removed, okay? To be removed. Okay, mm -hmm. you can say hair staples should be removed. All right. Or hair staples are scheduled to be removed. Scheduled to be removed. Or you can say, I mean, should be removed. Or uh, as an appointment, or you can say, um, Removal of her staples is scheduled at, okay? You can also do like that as well. Uh, removal of her staples is scheduled at, and then you can say whatever the, you know, the date you want to say, okay? Sorry. It's here, okay? 
please note removal of her temples is scheduled on the 10th on 10th post operative day okay in 10 days you can say in 10 days right on 10th post operative day that's i mean that makes it really complicated to understand okay on 10th post operative day um instead of that you could have mentioned again like this one uh, should need a high five between post and operative but it's it's not needed okay you can say in 10 days simply so removal of her um staples is scheduled in 10 days okay simple all right okay. let's go to the next one and uh, follow up appointment follow up appointment that's wrong and a uh, follow up appointment you need it needs an article follow up appointment that's wrong okay a uh, follow up appointment a uh, follow up appointment okay because appointment is a countable noun okay so you need to you can have okay. two appointments three appointments four appointments five appointments and so on so it has got both the singular and plural nouns and appointment here is a singular noun only so you have to use a follow up appointment with orthopedic joint replacement outpatient department okay it says staples to be removed on the 10th day and uh, follow up appointment with the okay all right so look at this this sentence okay and follow up appointment with orthopedic joint replacement outpatient ward uh, department this is wrong this is wrong why because this and and then whatever you are writing down here is incomplete okay this is this doesn't have any uh, verb okay it, it does it does have only the subject so okay. do you want to say that this samples will be removed in 10 days at this department in this one in this department is that what what do you want to say or do, does she have a different um you know appointment as well another appointment as well no same 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 appointment right then you have to say simply okay instead of writing so you have written on so much what you could have done yes. is okay um okay so let's say removal of her staples is scheduled in 10 days in and then you can write down this uh, department name in orthopedic joint replacement outpatient department that's it finished so don't write all these things okay all this follow up appointment and all these things if it is not included this is wrong okay. Okay, this is wrong. All right. So you should have mentioned. Okay. Um, scheduled okay follow up appointment instead of that the whole phrase you should have mentioned in ten days. Um, and then you should have mentioned okay. So in ten days in orthopedic orthopedic um outpatient whatever like you know outpatient department or whatever it is whatever they mention okay. Um, write this to replace the whole phrase starting end okay the whole phrase starting end follow up appointment okay so you have to remove the whole thing because it's not it's not going to give you uh, any additional appointment right so it's in the same appointment so you should not write it down all right let's go to the next one Yes, kindly administer uh, Claxain injection subcutaneously for another four days in order to prevent deep vein thrombosis. That's good. That's a very good structure. Okay, it doesn't have any uh, grammatical mistakes. I'm happy with that. Please do not hesitate to contact me for further information. That's good. You can also thank the patient. Sorry, the addressee. Thank you for providing uh, further care to blah blah blah. Okay, whatever the patient's name, and then you can write down this one. You are sincerely registered nurse. You're sincerely the registered nurse. Okay, so you could have thanked the addressee, All right? And then uh, registered nurse could be written on the registered nurse. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Apart from that, it's all good. Let me go through the assessment quickly. Okay. So one is grammar is not up to the mark. Okay, that's very bad. Particularly use of articles that's not good. Punctuation marks, yes, that's not good as well. Um, nouns and verbs, yes, nouns and verbs. 
uh, that's not good. Okay, and prepositions. All right. So <clears throat> all the aspects of um, grammar needs to be improved. Okay. Use of articles, punctuation marks, prepositions, nouns, and verbs needs to be improved. Needs to be improved. Okay. And um, yes. Um, what else? Okay. Many sentences are incomplete. It's not good. Many sentences are incomplete and incorrect. So you have to focus on this, okay? You have to write down, uh, do not write down longer sentences, please. You have to definitely write down a combination of simple complex and compound sentences, but it doesn't mean that you can write, you have to write down longer, really longer sentences with, that can last for maybe four or five lines. No, it doesn't mean that. Do you understand? But instead, you inst okay. instead use a range of simple complex and compound sentences in a well controlled manner. Okay, you should be able to control the sentences that you're writing down. Okay, do you understand? Do not just uh, write down longer sentences yeah. with the without control on this on the sentence structure. That's not good. All right, spelling mistakes. Um, I don't know. I think you haven't committed any spelling mistakes. Oh, yeah, you have committed one spelling mistake in relation to the name of the patient, which is not good. Okay, mm -hmm. spelling mistakes. Yes, should have been avoided. It's very bad, especially when you commit spelling mistake in the name of the addressee or the patient, because they have already given you everything. Why are you committing the spelling mistakes? Yes. It's not good. Okay, so yeah, apart from that, you know, you have split, you know, a couple of words, like every day should be written down as, a, as one word only. All right, and in many sentences, there was no subject at all, which is not good. Vocabulary is okay. I'm happy with the vocabulary. The overall task fulfillment is also fine. <clears throat> okay, so that's done. Uh, overall task fulfillment is all. Case notes were well organized. I'm happy with that as well. Well done. Okay. And then passive voice form could have been used more appropriately. Could have been used more appropriately. So the way you have used, um, you know, passive voice form is not up to the mark. Okay. Could have been used more appropriately. Sorry and frequently okay all right what else uh, presentation and layout out fine let me see if you have included all the relevant case notes or not okay let me go through that so you are a registered nurse mrs yes. thompson has had a right total shoulder replacement that's okay usually you know replacement doesn't need you know surgery replacement itself is uh, surgery okay so you don't need to use replacement surgery okay avoid using um i just wanted to tell you this you know previously you said but i forgot okay avoid using replacement surgery okay this phrase but use just a replacement okay that's it because replacement itself is a is, is, is a kind of surgery so we don't need to tell those two words together it doesn't make sense all right, so 73 White Road, Bayview, that's okay, 0107, okay, discharged home today, okay, with, our, with assistance from in-home nursing service. Okay, so they already know the address, address of the patient, isn't it? They're going to take care of her, I yeah. Okay, just a minute, let me have a look at the writing task, okay, using the information given in the road, right, 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 home nurse, okay. Informing her of the patient situation to place appropriate care. So you don't need to, I think, yeah, they, in the base, are requesting appropriate care. I need to refer, okay, yeah. So you're referring them to a nurse, okay? In home service care. So, um, so the pay, you know, the address doesn't know the patient already, am I right? Or do they know already? Yes. So they don't know, right? Okay, then it's all. That's in right. Okay. They don't know. Okay, good. That's all right. Yes. Lives in a single story house with a large garden. Try to use, okay, um, different words. Okay, vocab, you know, you could have used some synonyms instead of writing just the same words. For example, uh, with the large garden, you can use big garden. Okay. All right. Um, and then the same thing is applicable with other okay. phrases as well. 
for example mm-hmm. these ones like look at this lives in a single story she stays in okay a single level home or say a single level house something like that you know so you could have used some synonyms mm-hmm. and formal words okay instead of copying, okay sorry instead of copying the same words from case notes so it's not good okay um well, let me see no. if you have come across it anything else okay <clears throat> all right then that's fine widow one daughter lives in bay water one son married with the two children lives in still water uh okay daughter will stay for with the month okay this is important did you include this one this point or not did you include that, this that was in, included okay good good yeah her doctor daughter will stay with her for one month after her surgery okay all right after her operation so try to use maybe operation okay i mean try to use some as many synonyms as okay. possible okay it is highly recommended to use at least 60 to 70 percentage of the words okay i mean synonyms okay you have to use synonyms okay. at least 60 to 70 percent of the words her daughter will live with her we can say will live with her for uh, okay. one more month okay? okay one more month um after the operation okay so this is good uh, right okay it's not responded to okay conservative treatment that's all right uh, chronic or shoulder pain these are all re- relevant okay you should have mentioned it did you mention this or not did you mention this medical history that the arthritis pain uh, this include or yeah this arthritis is you know with the uh, but did you write this arthritis it down? did you write pain it down in the common symptoms no no did you write no. it down in your that is i written only this is, the, this is the medical background right uh, no you have, have write shoulder arthritis only i'm sorry i'm not getting you no you write shoulder arthritis osteo arthritis only okay but did you mention that you know she has had this in the past yeah this is a study history of right to shoulder oh, okay okay that's all right that's all right that's, that's, all right. Okay. that's all right yeah no worries current medications is okay i hope you have written on these these things did you did you mention the medications okay no medication only i'm not written you didn't okay you have to mention that that is this analgesic analgesia is written that is analgesic only so does does that include both the medications yeah that uh, uh, voltaren and phenadin uh, for this analgesic analgesics okay all right yep no worries but this one actually ceased the 14 days pre operative so you don't need to mention this voltaren is not needed it's already finished so you don't need to mention this but you have to mention this no, one no that is both both uh, okay that is both analgesia only but mm-hmm. uh, i am i am not separately written you have been separately analgesia, written that's okay but did you mention like that analgesia as well you know dosages frequency the dosage and nutrition you have been written you have to say you have not written don't say i am not written um okay all right admission I'm diagnosis not, is okay I'm right not. right shoulder displacement i think you have written down already that's good uh, post operative session is confirmed okay it it confirm okay the position of so remember that in the case notes they might have not used articles or prepositions or punctuation marks appropriately you are the one who needs to uh, correct those things in your letter do you understand Okay. Did you mention this one post-operative exercise program with the physiotherapy? Yes. Okay. Yes, that uh, physiotherapy as per the post-total shoulder replacement surgical protocol. So this one, clean, dry, uh, surgery, right shoulder wound, wound. Did you mention this? No, I'm not that. I'm um, that cold compression only written. you have to write down this one as well so the wound the surgical site is healing well that's it okay. you don't need to mention like you know uh, all these things but you can say the the okay. surgical site is clean uh, i mean is 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 uh, is progressing well i mean is is the surgical wound 
doesn't have any infections or you can simply you can say something in relation to that okay and plan for discharge home with the daughter today home nurse okay. sister at home that's fine all right let me go to the next page okay right okay nursing management observations uh, bp are all null okay normal vital signs are good we don't need to mention like separately neurovascular observations color bounce movement so that's done oral analgesia wound care and observations that's all right cold compression correction x-rays that's okay ADL assistance that's fine that's good physiotherapy management um, yeah physiotherapy management is not needed because you are writing down a letter to the nursing home so this one is not needed but you can simply mention like you know this one this is this as per the tsr protocol that's okay follow up physiotherapy appointment yeah but appointment needs to be mentioned yeah and they have given the referral to the community hydrotherapy as well okay all right so that needs to be done okay cryo of cold compression and 4 hours per day okay physiotherapy manager that is not there actually that's okay yeah in the cold compression this needs to be included and then discharge education follow up physiotherapy outpatient appointments because appointments need to be reminded by the nurse okay so that's really important and the referral to the community hydrotherapy so they have already referred okay do we do we do we have an appointment you know for this hydrotherapy did they mention anywhere else this was stop really that's okay no uh, specialist contact will be done uh, okay looking right on saying that's all done this is okay so i think follow physiotherapy patient appointment uh, you have to mention that because um, okay and then after pedic joint replacement you need to mention that nurse specialist okay can be contacted you should have mentioned this one i don't know whether you have mentioned this or not did you yeah that that must be and you that one thing it? that in between oil writing that mm -hmm. they need need to be first letter is capital which one sorry oil writing that day monday tuesday wednesday yes Ma monday should be all writing the all day the days, monday tuesday all the days they are writing need to start with the capital letter capital. independent of where they are going to be used okay yes okay all right but apart from that it's all good i'm happy with uh, you know your letter so some of the case notes were not included okay? at least uh, two to three so um sorry yes some case notes were missing some relevant case notes were missing so that's not good missing case notes yeah some relevant case notes are missing expected score okay to me this sounds like a c okay just a minute i am the trainer <laughs> i am the trainer i have to give you the <laughs> score okay <laughs> all right uh, okay. i this much this much uh, mistake i did then then yeah, how i will expect mark um yeah that's that's true that's true unfortunately some mistakes are minor okay maybe maybe 2 yeah, to 3 mistakes I, are okay they are minor but majority of them out of 20 majority of them, at least 16 17 mistakes are major so yeah you are right what you have told is right i think to me it sounds like a 250 out of 500 graded letter i wish you good luck with your um, uh, yeah. next letter but before you write down the next letter i think you need I to thought watch, below, you need to watch a lot below. of um you know videos so did, did you think less than this like 230 it's okay it's okay still it's okay i mean you have included uh, at least you know like you try to write down longer sentences so for me it's okay you are showing um, you know some kinds of confidence levels okay so <clears throat> to me this sounds okay. like a c grade c grade letter you you will get it i think you will get c grade for sure for this yeah. All right. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it, and um, I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye.